What's up guys and welcome back to Plans vs. Zombies Heroes. And today we're gonna be going ahead and doing some more zombie missions. Of course, we're doing it on the zombie side now and it is Mushroom Mayhem. Now, this one was tough before, you know, all of the crazy stipulations that this typically has at this point. So, who are we gonna play? I wanna play somebody who doesn't have a multiplier. Maybe we should just get the multiplier out of the way. I'm not really sure. We'll just get it out of the way. We'll play some Electric Boogaloo just because that's who I have available who is good to go. But the fact that Electric Boogaloo is one of my time seen characters for this week is actually really good because he has one of my favorite deck setups that I have on the zombie side. This, the Smash, and probably, I don't know, Infinity are probably my three favorite deck setups I have. I, Of course, there's always more room for improvement. Like, this isn't the best starting hand ever, but of course, those things happen over time. I can work with that. It might be a little tough at first, but I think we can make this work. But either way, more for less, throughout this mission, cards cost minus one at the end of each turn. All cards? Wow. That might work out entirely in his favor, but boy, oh boy, that could be good. Especially since we ain't doing nothing this turn. Ooh, that could be good. That could be so good. I don't know why I want to sing about it, but I do. I want to put you here and you here. Let's see what he's gonna do about that. Cause yo, 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 look at this. If he plays a card that has more than two health this turn, hit him with that, hit him with this, done. Just just done. Like here, this ain't even a problem. <laughs> like this really is not, like this is not an issue at all. You're gonna be able to play a lot of them, which is sort of uncomfortable, but I got it. Don't worry, don't bounce it. Fine, you wanna bounce, that's fine, cause I, that means I can make it survive till the next turn but we can make this work. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably just get rid of you. And then I can go ahead and play this. Destroy a damaged plant. Oh no, it doesn't actually count as damaged. Interesting. That's weird, I didn't actually know that. Huh. <laughs> well, those strategies flawed a little bit, but that's okay, because I think we can still make this work. Because look at these cards that are about to get super duper cheap. Like this, oh man, I could really populate things here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out here. And I will throw you here and I'll put your little buddy there. Maybe that's a silly idea to put it there, but there's a lot to deal with here. And my phone's vibrating like crazy. I'm busy right now, I'm playing and I'm recording. Wow, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should be so Mr. Confident, huh? I don't know. If we could get this out there though, this would really work out well for me. So hopefully that's what we can do. This is interesting, this is really weird. Like I feel like with the right circumstances, the right starting hand, I could really make this work. Like this guy, if I can combo him up with everybody, would be really, really nice. For right now though, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just sort of fake him out a little bit, make him think I'm going for the hammer shroom here, but then I'm gonna throw this on the hammer shroom and then I'm gonna throw this out and I'll get rid of everybody else. So let's try that out. I think that'll be a good combo of everything. Cause right now it's like, you know what, it seems like he's trying to pull out a lot of upper handing here which in some ways he is. Wow, okay. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Fine. I don't know, maybe we should try a different character then. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. It's gonna get rid of everybody but the hammer stream, which is totally cool, because now I can do this. Also, is this guy a dancing zombie? He is, he's a dancing pet. So there we go. Ooh, not bad. Okay, so throw that out. Activate, Oh, it didn't even activate the shield, which means I don't really wanna throw this out this turn. But now I could. Hmm, ah, oh, whatever, we'll do it. It'll activate a shield, maybe that'll be worth it. Bada boom. And we'll just throw this out. Only problem now is that I'm not doing very good uh, card management, and because of that, I'm sort of a little low, uh-oh. That would've been scary if, you know, you had all the cards you had out before, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna lose two. Hopefully we can get some good setup, so ouch. Rude. Let's hit you here. Okay, if we can get one dancing zombie here. Ooh, not bad. The only problem, once again, <laughs> is that I wanna be able to play this guy and then play this guy, so I don't know how we're gonna make this work. Maybe I should put a boom and then just put you there, and hopefully you leave a disco zombie alone. I mean, he's starting to run out of cards too, but He's got a lot of those pain shrooms, or punish shrooms, or something. Oh gosh, that's not good. <laughs> this is weird, because it's like, we're sort of like, we're earning ourselves back, we're sort of making progress, and then boom, he takes it away again. Okay. Well, no, ooh! Oh, no, I'm gonna lose my cards, no! <laughs> I needed those! Okay, what is this? Ooh, not bad, I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna hold on, to well, maybe I should've, that might've been a mistake. Maybe I should've thrown those down. 
could have worked, could have not. Yeah, I th well, we'll see what we can do. Gonna save it for that for now. Do three damage, whatever. We're still in the lead in terms of damage, so as long as, long as we can continue that. I'm gonna try to activate your shield here. Yes, okay, that's actually really good. Sort of. <laughs> Come on, it's like it's a really give and take game so far. This is really weird. But that's gonna destroy that, not good. Throw you guys out. If one of them can land in front of that that room and the other one, awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. I've been waiting for the perfect time to throw you out, but maybe that time's just not gonna pop up. I don't know. Weird situation, but this will do two damage per. Ooh, okay, we could we could take him out right now. We could take him out right here, right now. Come on. We'll no, we, we'll win this. We'll win this right here. Yeah, nice turnaround there. That was getting a little scary, but I guess holding on to that. Whatever this guy's name is, was a good choice. So awesome, awesome stuff there. We're gonna be able to get ourselves 100 tickets for that, which isn't 150, but it's decent, so that's good, that's good. All right, so let's go on with the second one. And the second one, I don't know who we're going against, but it won't be that guy. It'll be Spadao, okay. So Spadao's gonna be scaring. Having all those walnuts and Potato mines all be zero cost? Like, that's something that's really, really tough to deal with. That being said, I'm, like, you know, before I was re-rolling my cards because I didn't know what the stipulation would be. Now, I'm really hesitant to re-roll just about any of my cards because anything that seems like it might cost a little too much, it won't be by the next turn because I'll be gaining one and there'll also be one less. So it's almost like you're gaining two per turn in some way, shape, or form. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of you. I really don't want that long lasting damage sitting there. Cause that's just gonna go ahead and keep attacking me and attacking me and it's not gonna build up my uh, my shield at all. So that's not really beneficial to me. I will throw out you, I'll throw out you. That'll sort of be my distraction card and hopefully he'll just play out like a potato mine or something. I don't know, something that has one health that I can just take care of real quick, which would be nice. Sort of trying to be one step ahead of whatever his moves might be. But like next turn, I will have four sun are you playing it there? Okay, actually, that's totally cool. I mean, I could just make it, like, I feel like if that's the case then, what else are you gonna play? You're gonna play that. Okay. I mean, oh, here we go. That's what I was waiting for, something like that. So really, particularly, none of this really benefits me except for attacking this. I could attack the potato mine, not really gonna get me any farther than what's gonna go on there. I could attack this pistachio or this pismachio, but you know, he's still gonna have two health left over. It's just like, I feel like the best thing was to take care of that one one. So that was unfortunate, but I feel like he also totally is going way too fast, you know? He's gotta tone it down a little bit. Cause if he keeps going at this rate, he's gonna use up all of his good cards. Here, this is weird. I thought I'd maybe have more room to spend things, but I don't quite. So I'm gonna put you here, I'm gonna put you there. If I can do one damage to you, that's fine. That's gonna be breaking the ice because of the fact that he hasn't damaged me at all. So this will be the first bit of damage if I can land it. It won't be while he's using all of his cards, which will only go to help me because I can just go ahead and you know throw out these guys right here and just sort of clear his house a little bit. Okay, I need to get rid of these. Like I don't think I really need these in my setup right now. How do I wanna do this? I mean, I could just go ahead, bada boom, and let's leave that. That should be fine. Oh yeah, this will totally be fine. I'm not even worried about it. What I'm gonna do then, I was gonna attack one of you guys, I'm just gonna attack Spadal because I'm gonna throw out this and it's just gonna be, if I threw that on the Pispachio, it would've been wasted damage, so I'll even boost you a little bit. And now I'm in a good situation where I have a decent card, you know, comparatively to where we are at the game. On the field, he has no cards whatsoever. By next turn, I'll be able to play this and if he plays anything in front of that, hopefully this piano will put an end to it. I can just go ahead and do that. And now we're in a really, really golden spot. I'm gonna do another three damage to you. Chances are this next, next attack will activate the shield. Totally cool. And this is a good card right there. So we're gonna play that and see what his response is. Okay, that's totally cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do this on you then because not only will it give you a good damage boost, but I can work with it, you know? I can make sure that he's getting more damage the more cards I throw on, because that's what the party zombie does. That's gonna be the shield activation, not a problem, and wow. Interesting choice. Not one I would have made, but okay. I mean, I guess it works. And now we got another piano. I wish I had a 
card that can get me more cards, um, I'm just gonna leave that. I don't even care too much. And that's sort of the big issue when you have all these 1-1 one -one cards. Like, that could have been a much better card if he didn't have all the 1-1s one in his deck. And that's usually why the most people are against that strategy. But he only, and now he's just like playing every card one at a time. And honestly, like, you can go ahead and do that. Like, I honestly don't really mind that. Like, I'm just gonna lead him on to think that's okay, because now he's down to one health. All right, I think this is actually a pretty easy win for us. This was a good combo. Okay, and I'm getting nothing but tricks, but that's totally cool. Okay, we just won. <laughs> that was a really weird game. Two games done in 11 minutes, that's how I want things to go. Wrap the video up by 20 minutes. Never happens, it usually takes me like an hour every time for these, which is why I stopped doing them for a little while, but that's okay. We're doing great with Electric Boogaloo. He was a good choice for this. But yeah, I do have to say, I, I've been going, I haven't really gone on about it too much, but I do really like the new ticket system. I like it and I don't like it. I What I really don't like about the ticket system is, is it's still basically impossible to get um, all four cards without having to spend some gems along the way. And I don't feel like that's very cool. I mean, of course, we're sort of used to it at that po this point because that's just sort of how the game works in many ways. Like, it's already been that way throughout the history of the game is the fact that it's just sort of, you have to be willing to spend a little bit to really get anywhere. And here I'm honestly just going to skip out on that. I think I got some good damage combos coming up here. I got two of these, which will be free as of this turn. Oh, that's, that's some really cheap, really cheap stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead, put you here, and put you there. I'm just gonna ignore those dudes. Even if he has a buff shroom here, I think I can make it work. Also, one thing I've noticed that I haven't really mentioned too much is that if you put a legendary out, he actually reacts to it. Like, there's animations in the game where they actually react to, uh, watch the cards, and it's very cool. They react to legendaries. So I could throw this out now. I think I will. Like, I'm missing out on a point of health that could give back to me, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I'm gonna keep you around as much as I possibly can. But next turn, but well next turn this will be three. Okay, yeah, I can make that work. Alrighty, I'll do that. So bada boom, that's gonna do a little bit, that's gonna do a little bit, and it's gonna do a lot. Good start, I'm happy. I'm a happy zebra right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just gonna go ahead and throw you here. This is gonna do another six damage, putting you to eight. Nice, we could really win. If he were to theoretically not block anything, and, oh, oh, wow, why would you? That's an interesting choice, I have to say. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best choice, but you know what, that was an interesting choice. But theoretically, I, like if he didn't block there at all and his shields were like all super bad, I could have won that turn. So who do I wanna do here? Uh, since I only, I only have enough to throw him out and just him, I might wanna do something a little different I'm gonna throw you here, throw you here, and maybe I should've put him there, because he's not even a dancing zombie, he won't even count. But we're gonna do that, and see how that works. You're just gonna give everybody a nice little damage boost. And as, oh, he's playing it rough though. Once again though, like I'm getting them to spend all of their cards. I'm sort of doing the same, but usually Electric like Boogaloo's cards, especially with the Disco Dancer, have more longevity to them. Oh wow, so they're, they're both attacked there, that was what was going on there. Very weird. That was a bit of a, a problem. Jeez, those, those punish rooms are a little too punishing sometimes. Okay, I didn't quite want to throw this out yet. Well, I mean, I don't mind throwing this out, but I didn't want to throw out this dude just yet. I think it's something we're gonna do though, just to activate his shield, get it out of the way. You know, it's something. All right, bounce random zombie. Are you gonna play it? You're gonna play it. And the more you protect that card, dude, the more it goes to benefit me. Weird, like it's so weird how they keep doing that. Like this is gonna hurt a lot, but I might actually get a shield activation on the hammer shoot, please. Yes, very good. I'll throw those two guys out. Ooh, we could win. We could easily win here. I think we will win. Yes, yeah, statistically, we, we, we're going to win right here. I don't think there's one any way we can lose this. Ready, bada boom. This guy has been winning me games. I love it. Hat thrower, <laughs> I don't remember his actual name. What is it, the flamenco. Flamenco? I wanted to say Flamenco. The hat thrower zombie. <laughs> He's been saving me right now. That was great. I, I could have lost that one. 
But we're on a roll. Three to nothing right now. All wins. We're gonna keep going. And let's see. Chomzilla. Now Chomzilla, I'm pretty sure, is pretty decent against Electric Boogaloo, so this one might be where we get a turnaround situation where she might be able to beat me a couple times, but there's only one thing we could do. I'm holding on to that. I am holding on to all of this. It's not a bad setup. Like, I'm surprised we haven't seen too much of uh, the uh, unlife of the party, the party zombie, just because he's so good to combo with everything. If everything's cheaper, that means the more I can boost him up. Okay, so that card can get a little scary there, but I'm not too worried about it at this point, because I can get some better combos going on here, and I hope to do exactly just that. I'm gonna play you here and play you there, and hopefully it'll just do the one damage so that the next turn I can just play out this trick and it will be some easy distraction. So what's going on now? What are you gonna throw out, Chompzilla? What do you got on me? That's not good. <laughs> that ain't good, no, not at all. That's okay. It was bound to happen, but we can make this work. Yeah, we can definitely make this work. Oh, we're gonna get a shield right away? I was gonna say, that was gonna be an easy, easy shield. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play you here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy the peapod. I'm having so much fun with this game recently. Like when I'm doing well, I have great fun. <laughs> when I'm doing not so well, I can be a bit salty, but you know what, isn't that everybody? Isn't that everybody? But right now then, if my unlife of the party is out of the picture, that's sort of a bit of a tongue tw twister. <laughs> I like how I got more stuck on the, the word tongue twister than I did actually the tongue twister. That's weird. But now that card's out of the picture, my main focus is putting it on this aerobics instructor zombie, whatever it is. Aerobics, yeah, okay, it's the aerobics instructor. Interesting, I was just sort of taking a guess of what its name actually was, and it worked. So what do I wanna play here? I could play you, but then I can't play, I don't know, it's a weird situation. Maybe I'll just hold off. This might be a bad idea, but I could get some decent combos. Let's see, heal you here on all plants for four. So that's actually gonna bring her back up to full health, but totally cool with it. Hmm. How do I wanna do this? How do I wanna do this? I don't know, I got some few options. I'm trying to think about which one's the best, putting it on you, putting it on you. Uh, if I do that though, well, I'll still have that. Okay, we'll do that. So I'll do that. I'm gonna do three damage to a plant just right here. And this is gonna activate the shield and then we'll do eight damage, so that'll undo that healing she just did and then some. She gets some cards which might come back to bite me, but for right now, it's not going to prevent me from doing some good damage to her. So that's a really good combo of everything there. Nice, that's really nice. Nice, and it gets boosted again. Oh, that's great. Um, uh, I wanna play you, but instead I'm gonna play you, because that's gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six damage, knock you down to half health, and then I'm gonna leave that with that, because now we can trample some people if need be. I don't think she's gonna have anything that's gonna deal six damage in one shot. I mean, the Colonel Corn legendary. No, I think that's, I think that's eight sun. There you go, we can actually get rid of every single card here and win. Wow, we are just doing so good. I don't know why this one's so easy for us, but so far, like some of these, like really, some of these zombie missions and plant missions will take me an hour plus. I think the last one took me an hour. So, I'm happy. I'm a happy zebra now. And we're making decent progress. For what it is, we're making decent progress in our tickets. Of course, most of my ticket grinding is off screen. I wanna make a ticket earning guide soon. And I don't know how much it'll actually help people because most ticket you know, earning, it really is what the instructions already tell you. It's sort of common sense, but there are still some small tidbits to learn. So I might still make it. I mean, that's up to you guys. Do you guys really want to guide on ticket earning or can you pass on that? Because of course I'm not the best ticket earner you know, ever. But it's time for the boss battle. Foul Fungus Among Us. Nightcap gets a puff shroom at the start of each turn. That stinks. I really like the fact that we have some chickenings because, well not on us right now, but we have them in our deck because I'm gonna really, really need that. I don't trust this. I am not gonna play anything right now. Uh, Gonna make two puff shrooms, okay, not a problem. All right. 
This is a little spooky, but I think we can make it work, especially because of the fact that there's a bunch of 1-1 one -one cards, like I said. Huh. Ooh, we can actually make this work really well. I just don't know if it's what we really wanna do, but we gotta try it. We got to try it. Let's put you here and put you there. And it's just like, there's so much team up here. There's a scary amount of team up here. It's a lot to deal with. So I don't really know how this is gonna work out. This is this might be the thing that you know takes me an hour. <laughs> it always is, right? All right, depending on how the pain shroom treats me, I'm gonna throw you here. This is gonna stink, because the pain shroom guaranteed is gonna attack every single time we attack. Ooh, they're gonna stink. Ah, oh, there it goes. And if just one of the pain shroom attacks my party zombie just one time, please don't. Come on, no! <laughs> I see you did not do that. Fine, I get my shield activation. It's gonna be two dancing zombies. I'll throw you out now just because I need more things on the field. This is a scary game. Okay. All right. I can make some of this work. I wish this was one cheaper so I could have this piano, but you know what? Fine. That'll be what I do for now. I can't use this just yet, but it'll be available for me to use at some point or another. Man, and the fact that he keeps on getting pain shrooms too, like that's the painful part, what do you know? Jeez, that stinks. This is gonna guarantee me two damage here or there. I, just, I can only hope that it keeps attacking this juggler zombie, that why I'm doing some free damage like that. Then I'll do some free damage, and then here it's actually going to get taken out, but hopefully some free damage will go out too. Okay, ooh, it actually does attack twice for that. I didn't know it, it would, interesting. I didn't know it worked that way. Typically, those kind of things don't. Ooh, here we go. Since I actually don't have any real cards here, and, well, here, okay, I don't have any attack, you know, placeable cards. I'll just wait to the trick phase. That's really stinky, but I can take care of everything but one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, no, 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 why did I press go? I could have actually gotten rid of it. I'm such a dingus, why? Oh my gosh, look at this dude. He has no chill, go home. Luckily, I got a little bit of luck there. And that hashtag zebra luck coming in at just the last second. I have more card potential than I think he does because he only has two cards. That's sort of not a good setup. If he plays, throws out another pain stream, I swear I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go so crazy on this dude. There you go. This is gonna do just two damage, but it's gonna activate the shield anyways, so I'm not really holding on to it. A plant gets plus one, one. Not scary, especially if he doesn't play anything else, but he has five sun, so he's probably going why is it green for me? Oh, yeah, okay, because my attack phase isn't over. I was like, I don't trust that, because I know there sometimes is a glitch where it can be his turn, but I have the button available, and if you click the button, it'll just skip my trick phase. It's really weird. So he's gonna throw that out. That ain't good, but I can work with it. Okay, come on, I told him I'm gonna freak out, blah! <laughs> I don't know how to freak out. Jeez. And I'm zero brains too, so come on, man. That stinks. That really, really stinks. Just like, I feel like it's not even that it's difficult in some ways. It's just that I'm getting really horrible luck with it. All right, well, there's nothing I can really do here except play the chicken card, unless he has like an 18th <laughs> pain stream. I think he could only, literally only have one more. So the fact that he's gotten it every single time, like that is some time for it. Like I think that's some of, that's a game weighing in. See, look at that, get rid of all of them. Luckily, the chickening really is the lifesaver here, so if you have a deck with chickening in it, use it for this boss battle, because it's super important to do that. All right, I'm gonna play you here, and if anything comes on by, I'm gonna throw out this piano, and hopefully it'll get me the save, because this is just not working for me. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna put this here, come on, get it, get it. Okay. That's all right. I mean, I don't really mind taking care of the seedling because the seedling can turn into anything, like something scary. It can turn into anything, I think, below, five sun or below. And there are a few legendaries that are four or five sun that I would not want to go against right now. So you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. All right. And we're close to our last shield, and we really need it at this point. And I, I'm, I'm like all thrown off because of this. Oh, that stinks. That really stinks. Because, you know, I, I see the puff stream being played and I think, okay, they've done their attack phase, now it's my turn to play my tricks. No, it's still the attack phase for me now. And then it's his real attack phase. I just keep forgetting that, it's really weird. Like this, like I, I think now I'm gonna go to tricks, but no, I am not. 
Well, next time I get hit, unless it's a true strike, it'll be guaranteed. Uh, and it was just a 1-1. One, one. But so, next time I get hit by this Puff Shroom over here, that's going to be a guaranteed shield activation for me. It's probably gonna be... Actually, I don't know what it's gonna be. We've already used her signature in. Okay, it's just gonna be another three damage strike. We'll hold on to it. We will hold on to it indeed. What cards will they have? I'm not sure. The, the, the Pied Piper, that's a nice sight. That's a sight for sore eyes right there. The thing now that's super scary is that I just don't have any shields left. I need to be able to start pulling in a win here. I'm not too entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. And I don't wanna just, you know, blast it on a puff shroom when something much more scarier could pop up, but I honestly think he start he used all of his best setups. And now he's just sort of at this loss where he's, you know, finally getting these cards at ours for the early game that really don't aid him too much, like the seed length. Finally. Something good's going on for me right now. Oh man. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. We can make this work. We can get that W. Give me that win, game woman. Give me that win. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, that's definitely not a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and zap that. Hopefully we can get the three damage here without the shield. Nope, can't get that. Bounce random zombie. Oh, please just not that zombie on the right. Are you kidding me? Come on, I asked for one thing. Wow, come on. I had a one fourth chance of that happening and it, oh, come on. We were close though, we were close. I'm gonna go ahead and try that again and hopefully everything works out. A better combo this time. There's not too much more I can do. Blah, 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 blah. I know you talk a lot, Dr. Zombos. You talk a lot. But I'm gonna leave it at that. It's just like, playing on turn one seems to always be a bad idea at this moment, just because he's always going to have something that, you know, intervene with. So, I gotta avoid playing on turn one. Hope that I get decent shields like that a little more often. Okay. Okay, ooh, that's actually not bad. Because I can play you here. And then I can play you here. I wish I could have gotten like this on turn one. Not that, but this. That way I could uh, play two cards here. That really stinks and there's nothing I can do about it. Will this actually account for a pain shroom? Like it's losing one, but it's not getting damaged, right? No, it's gonna attack. Wow, that's super bogus. Cause that's really weird. Cause I feel like some cards it will have that distinction, and some cards it just totally won't. You know, like it doesn't make too much sense. It's not, um, I guess linear. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not the same for each one. So that's a really weird thing that goes on with it. Okay, so it's definitely worth it to throw you out. If scary things happen, I can play the chickening. Luckily, I do have the maniacal laugh just in case I need that as well. Oh boy, oh boy indeed. Oh, okay, that's actually definitely worth playing the, the chickening for. Just to get rid of all of these guys, and then one more sun. No, come on! That is just so bogus. <laughs> oh man, luckily, this is gonna be an even turn. It's gonna be a very even turn. So this is, the chickening is essential for this boss battle. If you don't have it, it's, it's gonna be way tougher. Or something similar. Weed Sprite could be good, but the Weed Sprite can be, you know, completely ruined if he has a buff shroom. So I wouldn't suggest that over it. If you could get both, if you could play the Smash and get both of them, that'd probably be your best bet. Because I'm pretty sure Smash has both of them. Transform Plant into a. Honestly, I've never seen this card played before. I have never ever seen that card played ever. I would be honest with you guys. Okay, I've, I've seen this card, but that little rose that turns it into, like the rosebuds that turn it into something random, I've never ever seen that card before. So we're gonna go ahead and damage Yoon. Oh, we're gonna make this turn devastating for you, buddy. I'm so sorry, but I got a combo that you don't wanna see. All those were zero, I'm happy to say. And then we can throw you out, and that's gonna hurt a little bit, ain't it? And then we're not done. We're gonna throw that maniacal laugh out, and I don't think he has a squash. I think, I think, you know, I always forget his name. Why am I forgetting his name? Nightcap. I don't think Nightcap has a squash in his current setup, but he can, like he's available to, from my knowledge. All right, so we got a really lucky, like I don't know if he gets to choose where the puff shrooms go or if it's by chance, but uh, things are working out for him. I'm gonna go ahead and put you here, and we'll see what we wanna do with that. Because 
I mean, I could take care of the puff room, but our character here has frenzy, so it's not really worth it. Uh, transform into something random. Once again, I've never seen this card, really? Wow. Don't you think that's a bit excessive? Okay, you know what I'm gonna, oh, I got the combos for real though. I don't need it, because I can take care of you, guarantee my chance of taking you out with the pumpkin. I bet so many, so many of you were probably looking at the screen screaming at me to do that. So hopefully, I fulfilled some of your expectations. Now we can play this card out here and immediately win. Come on, come on, come on, we can do this, we can do this, not a problem, we won, we won, we won. Oh, so good, so good. Yes, this guy literally won me all four games. Or three. I'm pretty sure he won me all four games. Wow. Well, that gives you a good statement on how good that card can be if you have a great electric boogaloo setup. I'm a happy zebra. We did that without too much strife. About a half an hour long video, so that's not too bad. Okay, so there was mission number 13. And of course, next time, I think we actually do, I need to do another zombie mission. Usually we do zombie plant, zombie plant, but I no, actually, I don't wanna buy anything. I've already bought that pack, but we actually only did two plant in a row, so that's on 15, so I guess we'll do a zombie mission the next time we do a mission again. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Flash vs. Zombies Heroes. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Zebra Dancer so I know you've watched it in the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But by the way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.